Welcome to another video of SyncQuick. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a modern reverse proxy and load balancer that makes deploying microservices easy. That can automatically discover your services and routes. It supports a wide variety of protocols, including HTTP, HTTPS, TCP, UDP, and so on. And you can add new features and functionalities by just writing the plugins. Traffic can be used by a variety of scenarios, including deploying microservices, load balancing, SSL termination, and so on. So you will go to traffic.io, and here you can see the home page, which will show you that what the traffic is all about. And right now, 3 billion plus downloads are there with 40k plus stars on GitHub. It can act as a single entry point for microservice deployment, Kubernetes deployment, or Docker Swarm. These are two products which are available in open source. One is Traffic Proxy, another is Traffic Mesh. So if I click on Traffic Proxy, learn more. So you will see the details here. You can see the infrastructure here. So front end is the internet, whether it is HTTP or HTTPS or even TCP or TLS. So it will use Let's Encrypt the SSL certificate for your traffic and then using Traffic Proxy, auto discover the orchestrator or observability tooling like metrics, uh, tracing logs. And then of course, it will use the load balancing if you have multiple instances of the same application and through load balancing, it will be forwarding the uh, traffic to the specific application. Otherwise, you can use the mirroring purpose also. In order to start, I'll be going to Docker Hub. And in Docker Hub, these are world's largest library of containers images, and these are most of the popular images. And of course, we have already seen MySQL, Python, and all of these images. If you want to see the details, I have provided the link in the description below. In the playlist, you can see all the details. So right now, I'm on my Docker environment. If I show you here, right now, of course, all the uh, containers are down. And these are some of the images which I'm already running, these applications I'm running. So if I go here to my uh, Compose file, so Docker Compose shows me these are the Hamdel, which is one of the web application. And it is running on port 8765. And of course, internal port is 80. I have the WordPress service, which is running on port 80. And external port is 8766. And then I have PHP My Admin, which is again running on port 80. And then I have the volumes here. So one volume is here. So if I start docker compose i have provided the link in the description where i have explained you how we can create the docker compose file so i'll be doing docker compose and i'll i'll up this with d extension so if i show you here my all containers have started and all containers are running right now if i go here to hamdel so i'll open this and hamdel is open right now on https and similarly if i go to Another application, of course, this is PHP My Admin. So PHP My Admin is also running. But if you notice here, all the applications are, of course, running on its specific port. And the domain name is, of course, localhost in all the cases. Now I need to make sure, of course, these all applications are running on a reverse proxy. So there are various ways to install this, but I will be making it so simple and so easy. Uh, so traffic has the official image, which is available on Docker. And I'll see what is the latest. Uh, tag available here. I'll click on tags. There are various tags which are available. This is for Linux and it is latest one. I'll be going for version 3.0. Tag here which is available is traffic 3.0. I'll go to compose.yaml. I'll be creating a new service after PHP my admin. So my new service name is uh, this will be traffic. And what will be the arguments here? So first of all, I'll be using the image. So what will be that image? Image will be, of course, traffic, uh, which I copied here. And this is the traffic image. And I'll need to pass the two commands here. So I'll be typing in the command. So first command that I'll be using will be api.insecure is equal to true. So why I type api.insecure is equal to true? Because if the traffic is uh, not using the SSL certificate, it will still allow that traffic to pass. And another command that I'll be using will be providers.docker. So what are the providers for traffic? I'll be using Docker. This also will be using ports. So I'll be using ports and post will be in the list format. I'll be using port 80 as internal and port 80 as external. And then 
uh, another port will be port 8080 internal and 8080 external and now i'll be using the volume here for traffic so i'll be typing in volume so volumes will be in the list format again so what will be that i'll be typing var slash run slash docker dot sock and it will be linked to var dot run dot slash docker dot sock now traffic service will be started but i'll not be making any changes here first of all let us save this file and let us bring our composer down and now i'll be pulling the repository first so i'll be going to compose and pull the images so it will pull the images right now traffic image is being pulled and what is the latest image of course we mentioned version 3.0 and if i go back here to docker compose and images so if you see here traffic version 3.0 is fetched so i'll go back here to command line and i'll bring this up now with the d extension all right so if i go here to containers so you can see here traffic is right now running so i'll open this again here it shows that 404 page is not found it means that of course uh, traffic is running right now but if you remember that there is another port which is for the management port it is 8080 i'll go back again here and i'll type in the management port port 8080 and you can see here right now the traffic is running version 3.0.0 beta version and if you see the dashboard on dashboard it shows how many routers are uh, discovered how many services are discovered and how many middlewares are discovered so in http this is all which is discovered tcp what is discovered udp nothing is discovered features tracing is off matrix is off access log is off hub is off and here providers is docker so if you go back here to http what type of services are here you can see here that traffic which is api internal and then of course dashboard internal hamdel syncprix mariadb syncprix php syncprix all these applications uh, which i am running or all these microservices which are being running these all depend on traffic so we'll go back here and for all these applications which are running right now so i'll be going here to hamdel first and i'll add another depends on and here service name will be uh, traffic so it will be depending on traffic and i'll copy and paste the same here for uh, wordpress also this also depends on traffic php my admin also it should depend on traffic we'll save this file bring down compose again and i'll bring up a compose again so right now if you see again here i'll go back so no change is there but the good thing is that now all the containers will look for the service which is traffic so i'll go back to traffic the entry point for traffic is at port 80 and uh, traffic is running at 8080 so now i'll be of course uh, creating the reverse proxy for the domain of course right now we did not enter any dns record for any of these applications so where these applications will, will be running on which particular dns record so this is not defined here so i'll be do doing that now so i'll show you how we can do that so first of all if you go here to traffic documentation you can see here for the docker uh, what has to be done automatic service assignment with labels so in labels you will mention traffic dot http dot routers and then my proxy dot rule if my proxy is your uh, service and any service name so this can be used here so suppose i'll just copy this here labels and i'll go back here to docker compose file here and suppose for this particular service i want to define the labels here so i'll go here and create this as traffic dot http dot router and this is hamdel so the name of this will be hamdel so hamdel 
and rule will be host and name will be hamdel.localhost and similarly i can copy this and use this for all my other web application or web services for wordpress post here i'll go back and before i starting i'll just stop the service and start it again so here you can see hamdel.localhost and uh, phpmyadmin.localhost and wordpress.localhost these are the hosts which are updated now if i try to access this phpmyadmin.localhost the host name is working fine here and if i go back here to hamdel so instead of accessing it through my localhost port so i'll be simply copying uh, typing here hamdel dot localhost and you can see here now hamdel is working at localhost and similarly i can type in wordpress dot localhost and wordpress is working of course uh, error in database connection is there that will be fixed but this is working right now you can of course change the name here also now for example this wordpress is uh, blog.syncprix.com so i'll be typing it blog.syncprix.com and save it and then start the service and stop the service again and we'll go back here blog.syncprix.com so this is the way you can manage the reverse proxy you can see here instead of uh, localhost dot the port name for the php my admin you can simply go to php my admin dot localhost it will open the same docker ip address here and based on that docker ip address the same is defined here whether you want to use traffic on your containerized environment whether you want to use on kubernetes you want to use on the cloud infrastructure or in your virtualization environment it will discover the services automatically so whatever application services are running on your networks so it will fetch all the microservices here so if you want to know more about traffic and if you want me to cover any specific aspects of traffic please don't forget to mention them in the comment section below so see you in next video till then take care and goodbye